Well, today we've come for lunch at Sabai Baba in Krabi. We've been here once before last week and the food was really good, so we thought we'd come back and share the place with you. So as always, we've got a great mix of food. First, we've got some prawn spring rolls, and then we've got a chicken fried rice. One got a ratna, which is a fried noodle and gravy. I got a mushroom salad with seafood, and also a chicken jungle curry. So first, I'm gonna try one of these prawn spring rolls. We had these here last time and they were delicious. Mm. Really tasty. Once again delicious. They're really crunchy. It's basically a whole prawn with some noodles and some vegetables wrapped around it. Then it's wrapped in spring roll pastry. Very very tasty. Nanda's chicken fried rice and some big pieces of chicken also some spring onions or something on top some finely chopped fried egg and also finely chopped vegetables in there give that a try he's been enjoying that that also is delicious it's a little bit salty it's got a bit of a peppery taste but not at all spicy I'll try Orn's Radna next before she polishes that one off looks like it's been good because there's not much of it left got some prawns and squid, also lots of vegetables, some carrot, baby corn, a few different types of mushrooms in there, kale, also some soya beans, grab some of the fried noodle and a bit of corn there, that also really tasty. This isn't at all spicy, it's a great food to eat in Thailand if you don't like spicy food. It's usually got lots of vegetables and it's usually a thick gravy. This gravy is not particularly thick, but it is really tasty. It's a little bit salty, a little bit sweet. Then my mushroom salad, it's got lots of seafood in there, some calamari, some big prawns. Again, there's some spring onion by the look. Also some white onion, quite a bit of chili and at least four different types of mushroom that I've found there. Also some tomato, so I'll give that one a go. Got a bit of mushroom and a bit of squid. That's really tasty. This one is quite spicy. It's also a bit sour, it's got some vinegar or something in the sauce. Slightly salty. If you like mushrooms when you come to Thailand, do try some of the mushroom soups and mushroom salads that they got here. There's lots of different varieties of yummy mushrooms in Thailand. They're all really tasty. So the final thing I've got here is my jungle curry. It's come in a traditional hot pot. There's actually no fire underneath it. It still does look very impressive. So I've also got a little bowl. Put some of my rice in that. And spoon out some of the curry. So it's got quite a few vegetables, some big bits of chicken, some Thai peppers in there, broccoli, cauliflower, also some green Thai eggplants in there as well. So I'll get some a mix of veggies and a piece of chicken there, and some of that sauce. So seeing as I'm at a jungle restaurant, I should have a jungle curry. It's been a while since I've had one of these. So you will find if you order chicken dishes in Thailand, often they do come with bones, so just be careful with that. I ordered a medium spicy and it is pretty well medium for my taste. Uh, for lots of other people this would be quite spicy. It's really good. It's got a great mix of flavours in there, some galangal, maybe some cumin. Chicken's really moist. And the vegetables. They're really crunchy, it's really well cooked, there's also some bits of lemongrass in there by the look. Thai peppers are really tasty, I do like these, they are quite spicy when you bite into them. They burst almost like little grapes or something, they are pretty spicy, they've got a really nice flavour. The restaurant's got a very comprehensive menu, there's a page of drinks, 
There's also plenty of food options with 138 items in the menu and both Thai and Western food on offer. It's a great variety of food that they've got there and everything we've tried so far has been really delicious. To accompany our meal, on got a Coke. I got a mango shake, which both Amanda and I enjoy. The food is great. We've all really enjoyed the two meals that we've had here. And a number of our friends have been here as well and they've all commented on how good it was. This is what we had last time we were there. Again, we had the prawn spring rolls. Horn got squid with chili and garlic. Blamuk Kaprao. We also got fried morning glory. I got chicken with cashew nut. And my auntie who we were dining with got a chicken curry with cumin leaves. Both times we've eaten there, we've eaten in the main section of the restaurant, which is upstairs. There's a very open section where you're overlooking the garden, and there's also a more undercover area as well. They also have a swimming pool that guests are free to use. You can dine poolside and take in the views. There's also a boardwalk across from the main eating area to a smaller area known as the treehouse. It's quite pretty up there, set in amongst the trees. A number of the tables also have a view overlooking the local stream. There's another area on the ground which is known as the country zone. There's a number of little salas where you can eat Thai style sitting on the floor. There's a little path that meanders through the country zone offering a nice walk. There's also some ponds in there with fish. I would recommend taking mosquito repellent though. There were a few mosquitoes around on the times that we were there. The restaurant also has free Wi-Fi as well as other facilities. It is very beautiful and it definitely lives up to its name. There's also more tables down on the side of the stream. The restaurant is a halal restaurant so there's no pork dishes there but there are plenty of other meat and seafood options available. There's also a bar downstairs where you can sit and enjoy a drink. The restaurant's very easy to find, it's in Klong Som between Ao Nang and Klong Muang, right next door to the giant catfish farm. Just look for the signs. I can highly recommend visiting this place if you're in Krabi. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe. I post new Thailand videos every Wednesday. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.